morning. We are up and about. <laughs> Outfit of the day. Glasses, scarf from Target, lime scarf from Walmart, um, white pullover, very light sweater shirt. Where did I get this shirt? I don't remember. Jeans and shoes from Lady Foot Locker, I think. And touristy backpack. We are on our way to the Coliseum today and like all the hills, the Palatine Hill and all the hills surrounding the Coliseum. But before that, we're gonna go to um, a local cafe. We're literally just down the street from our house and from our apartment. And uh, we're gonna try to upload some of the videos that I've been editing every day of our trip and they haven't been uploading on the Wi-Fi in the apartment. So we're gonna go there, have a cup of coffee, have some, a bite to eat and um, upload the videos and then come back to the apartment, drop stuff off and head off walking to the Coliseum. And if you guys have been following, we're near the Vatican City, so it's gonna be quite the walk. Look at this amazing building. Um, I'll put the name of it below, but it's so pure, like pure white in color. It's so magnificent. This the architecture is just awesome. We're walking on our way to the Coliseum. It's um it rained this morning, so it was cool, and then it's um pretty hot. It's about 82 degrees right now, and uh, yeah. So hopefully soon we'll be at the Coliseum. We'll show you around over there. It's burning hot. We've been walking down the longest road ever, but look what we found. We'll take you inside. We finally made it. There's such a long road to get here, but look how amazing. We're at the Coliseum, of course. There's a ton of people around. We're trying to see how we can get inside if we can get inside. You have to put my kids, Oh my god, I wanna go touch it. <laughs> We're taking pictures with everything and so is everyone else. It's just so tight. Can you imagine the history here? Oh my gosh. So we're waiting um, to take a tour of the Coliseum. We paid 15 euros because of course we're American and we don't want to wait in the line. Um, these are all the people that are going to be in our group. We're trying to find some shade. Yeah, we're trying to find some shade, but there isn't any. So they're sticking their hands into the shade that's in there, convincing themselves that they're not hot. It's shadier anymore. in there. So the tour we got, 15 euros, takes us 45 minutes in the Coliseum. Um, they're just like out walking and asking if people want to do tours. So it'll take us, I think, 45 minutes inside. And it's a guided tour, and we haven't done any tours. This is yeah, our like, so first, first one. one. We went to the Vatican without a tour, and the Trevi Fountain, and just like, around Rome. So like, I feel like this is worth we doing We decided, one. they're also gonna take us, where did they say the hills? So, all something? the hills, and like Palatine Hill, and there's a guided tour there too. Um, so it's like a two for one deal, so we're pretty excited. To do and we this. decided to do this instead of waiting in that long line. Yeah. That's the line, and there's the one inside. The wait for the line is like an hour and a half, and yeah. it's really, really hot. And um, like I said, it's the first tour, so we're gonna we're excited to get like some historical information uh, for the first time on the trip. So we'll see you in time. Years away, and on top of us, Italy is a country prone to earthquakes. I don't know if your travel agent told you that. <laughs> They keep quiet about it. We have many earthquakes in Italy all the time, uh, like Japan, California, and uh, Greece. Guys, we're in the Coliseum. Ah, look! It used to be all white marble. He was telling us we have a tour guide. He was telling us it used to be all white marble, and it was all like it's all in shambles now. So. It's amazing, it's huge. We gotta go meet up with the tour guide again because we ditched him to take pictures. Duh. There's always a bit of a conflict, and Max Sanchez and Constantine are involved in that. The battle is to see who will be the sole uh, emperor. So the battle takes place in Rome. Maxentius's men, they 
are from Rome. They know the lay of the land. They dictate the fighting techniques. They're doing very, very well. Constantine and his men are losing very badly. Until one night. One night Constantine has agreed. In the stream he sees the vision of the cross. And the message of the stream is with this symbol, you will be victorious. So the very next morning, he marches his troops out to the Battle of Milvian Bridge. They are led by the symbol of the cross. They are, in fact, victorious. He is now the sole ruler of the Roman Empire. And the first thing he will do is legalize Christianity. He is known as the first Christian emperor. Not exactly true. His reason drains out all of the swamp, all of the marsh, and it makes it cost them to build a farm. Is that same grain that's so funky today that allows us to support? What the Forum was, was ancient Rome's downtown core. So if you can imagine, wherever you're from in the world, whatever you use your downtown core, this is the same as the ancient Romans have for the Forum. So the going to end the vlog we walked home from the Colosseum just making a couple stops along the way we uh, stopped oh yeah we saw some street performances as usual which is always really fun when you're walking the streets of Rome were filled like all people are walking all over the place um, but we stopped some places to um, buy some stuff I bought a present for my brother from the Ferrari store they get in this like cute little packaging it's just like this lanyard um, and then we stopped a place called Scout. I was trying to flip flops because um, the floors in our apartment, there's no carpeting. And it's kind of like it is in Palestine, it's all like stone and stuff like that, so your feet get dirty. So I needed a pair of flip flops. And then I stopped by just like a cute souvenir shop, I know, I know, and I bought this tank top. It says, I love Roma on it. It's really cute. And then I think we just stopped by the grocery store. We bought some um, vegetables. We're going to cook dinner. And uh, we're planning a day trip tomorrow out of town. So we're not going to be in Rome if the plan goes accordingly. So have a great night. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.